this is really home for you. This is, yeah, your, yeah. This is your backyard. Yeah, 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 I'm here all the time. <laughs> this is Zach Anderson's eighth year with the Tau Ski Patrol. Come on, all the way up. But his first year. Good boy. Working with Finn. That's a good boy. Getting to and from work is a lot of training. You know, riding a snowmobile, he's been real good with it, but that's pretty weird. Not a lot of dogs used to that. Finn is a young golden retriever, and he's learning how to get around the slopes. Come on, you can do it, look up. He's still got a ways to go. <laughs> because he's training oh boy. to be an avalanche dog. Finn's just six months old and still training, and one of the first things they do in training is it's called a runaway. We're gonna go see that right now, and it's the first step in getting them excited about finding people on the mountain. Search! Good boy! Oh yeah, good boy! Good boy! Yeah! Good boy! Get it! Get it, get it, get it! Finn is not the only avalanche dog at Taos, but he is a first of his kind. For me, it's excitement. He is the first dog purchased by the Cory Borg Massonary Foundation. They have a tough job. I mean, I think a lot of people don't realize the dangers that they face and what they actually really do. There's been multiple victims. Bobby Gorin learned what they do on a day she cannot forget. January 17th, 2019. I was there. I was actually there uh, digging along some of my ski patrol buddies and uh, it was it was pretty emotional, sad. A hundred people jumped into search and rescue efforts after an avalanche had buried two men at Kachina Peak. One of them was Corey. I remember pausing and I was like, what? And he said, Corey was in an avalanche. And that is the last thing I remember for a while. It was Izzy who ultimately found Corey, the most experienced house avalanche dog. Now Corey's mom, Bobby, runs the foundation with the goal of bringing avalanche dogs to ski resorts across the country. For us, there's a big meaning with Finn. You know, Finn stands for a lot. Um, you know, he, like Zach said, he, you know, he said, I understand, you know, like Finn's kind of the face of the launch of the foundation in a way. She came out here to meet Finn when he was about four months old or so, I'd say, and then they got along great, super stoked to see him. There were emotional times also, but I think we held it together pretty good, at least in front of Zach and Finn, so that we didn't make them too uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, good boy, yeah. Corey's story continues through Finn. Training on the same slopes Corey skied, learning from Izzy, the same dog that found it. I know that they're gonna do great, and I know Corey's just, I know Corey's really excited about it. You know, he, Corey loved dogs, he loves skiing, so it's just kind of perfect. The start of something good. It's the first dog of hopefully a whole bunch of dogs. Keeping those who love the outdoors just a little bit safe. From Taos, Ryan Laughlin, KOB4.